Uh, we are interviewing my dear friend of mine's Christian. Yep. Who are you to the people that might not know you? Uh, I'm Chris. I'm Julie's co-worker. And uh, yeah. Um, how did we meet? We met at work uh, at Prinkle Pop. What is our best memory together? Our best memory? Yeah. Probably going to the club and getting fucked up. That's a good memory. <laughs> what is our Memories. worst memory together? Um, probably last year's Halloween party when I had to put. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, just say it. <laughs> when uh, when I had to put your shoe on at the party that you, I don't know, that you couldn't put your foot back in, <laughs> and then like me and Gio had to help you up too. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. It was a good memory. People are gonna think I'm a total wreck. <laughs> no, not even. Uh, what is our funniest, funniest memory together? I think that should be. Yeah, I think that should be our funniest memory. Alright, worst memory? Then? Yeah, then our worst memory. Oh. I don't know, what would you say? I have a lot in mind. When oh, we, um... Me, you, remember how Gio like, betrayed us? With that, with that customer. That's true. We had a bad uh, experience with a certain customer at work, and um, our friend Gia betrayed us, just like that. What high school did you attend? Uh, I went to Bishop Amat. It's in La Puente. What high school class are you from? 2018, baby. Let's go. Uh, what were your thoughts coming out of high school? What am I gonna do with my life? <laughs> What now? Uh, what is your best high school memory? Hmm. Okay, here's one. Uh, me and my best friend, uh, we pranked our other friend by... We got plastic wrap and we wrapped his entire car about... I want to say like 30 times. <laughs> and then at the end of the day, he had to undo everything himself. Was it who We helped him at the end. No. We did it to another friend of ours. Oh, you and Julio did it? <laughs> yeah, we brought it. We came early in the morning and we quickly wrapped up his car in saran wrap. It was funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, it was a good prank. What is your best childhood memory? Um, playing sports, yeah. Like baseball, basketball, soccer. What's something most people don't know about you? Hmm. Um, I could play a little bit of guitar. You could? I could. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, what are your hobbies? Uh, I like to work out, go to the gym, go running, watch Netflix, if that's a hobby. Um, did you play any sports growing up? Yeah, I played baseball, basketball, and soccer. Damn, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Uh, what did you want to be when you grow up? What did I want to be? Yeah. Um, when I was younger, I don't know why I wanted to be like a, like one of those people who test video games and like make a living off that. That didn't happen. Where is your dream place to travel? Hmm. Um, I want to go to either Bora Bora or Australia or the or Switzerland. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um what school do you currently attend? I go to Cal State LA. Uh, what is your major? Business marketing. Oh okay we got the same major up got the, in here. Gotta get the business, gotta get the bag. How do you describe your school life in one word? Um, procrastination. Um, who were your role models growing up? Role models? Um, probably my parents. Uh, my brother, I could say. Um, like my coaches, some coaches would be role models for me. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> uh, so you would be I'll like be 25. 25 yeah. Yeah. So 
hopefully I've graduated, got my degree, I'm in a good paying job, uh, have my own place, um, yeah. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Wow, uh, well, I'm 30? Maybe getting ready to settle down, have a family maybe, or maybe not. Um, yeah, being more stable, secure. What is an advice you wish you could have given yourself at the age of 15? 15? Enjoy high school and try harder because it matters. Uh, what is an advice you have for your future self? Um, enjoy life. Don't take yourself too serious. Uh, enjoy the small moments and yeah. What advice do you have for your future kids watching this? I don't know, learn from my mistakes. Uh, be you, don't listen to anyone. Do what you want to do. What are some qualities you look into a woman? Hmm, good question. Uh, she's got to be funny. She's got to have a sense of humor. You know, like, you know, take a joke. Not get too bitter or angry um yeah just uh someone i could like spend my hobbies with have stuff in common what is an advice you have for your future partner advice yeah uh, communication communication is key so um, are you currently single or taken i am single so yeah hit me up ladies hit him hit up ladies what are three things you can't live without? Uh, hmm. I can't live without working out. Like, I have to either run or go to the gym, hike. I have to do something. Uh, music. I love music, so I can't imagine life without it. Um, you do got some terrible taste in music. You know what? I wouldn't be talking. <laughs> I wouldn't be talking. And then number three, we chocolate because I love chocolate. Okay. Um, who is your favorite sports team? That's a good one. Damn. Mm. Does it matter, like, what sport? It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm getting a lot of hate for it, but I'm hoping the Clippers will stop disappointing me and make a comeback next year. Um, yeah. I have high hopes for them. Um, were, were you able to get your hands on a PS5? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I tried all day yesterday and Walmart kept on crashing. Target kept on crashing on me. I had them both open. I tried at midnight. I tried at 3 o'clock. I failed. I have to wait to get the PS5. Oh, what is your favorite movie of all time? That's a hard one too, actually. Um... If you haven't seen Interstellar, definitely watch it. What's your favorite chick flick movie people would be surprised to know you enjoy? A chick flick? Yeah. Chick flick. Uh, white chicks. Um, gym or hiking? Both. But maybe hiking a little bit more. What's your favorite music genre? I grew up on rock, so I have to say rock. But I listen to a lot more than rock. Like, a lot more. What's your favorite song of all time? Song of all time? Yeah. Guns N' Roses, Paradise City. Like, I listened to it since I was a kid, probably. <laughs> oh, when you're feeling down, what song can you rely to boost you up? Hmm. Oh, I know. Uh, Kid Cudi, Pursuit of Happiness. I mean, how can you not love that song? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what do you do on your free time? I go to class. If I'm not in class, I go work out or go running. If I'm not doing that, then I'm watching Netflix or YouTube. And if I'm not doing that, I'm eating. So, yeah. Or working. But, yeah. What are some goals you have for the future? For the future? Uh... Graduate, get my degree, going to get hopefully get a job that I like, I enjoy, and I don't hate. Um, yeah, enjoy my life, enjoy my twenties, 
uh, go different places, travel, try different things, try different foods, meet more people, make new friends. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Like what kind of like my favorite kind of food or your favorite food? <sighs> um, <laughs> sorry, vegetarians out there, but I like ribs. Uh, like a good old like big rack of barbecue ribs. I enjoy those. Do you enjoy cooking or eating out? I enjoy eating out because I can't cook. Uh, yeah. What is your workout routine? Um. So I'll. Okay, so I'll lift. I'll do a full body workout, like with weights, on one day, and then the next day I'll rest, and I'll use that day to go running. I'll run either like a 5K, which is like 3.1 miles, or I'll. Uh, if I don't go running, I'll probably like go play basketball or football with friends or myself. If you had to eat something for the rest of your life, what would it be? Huh. Eat something. I like Chinese food, so maybe Chinese food. But no, 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 I take that back. I'm sorry. Pizza. I'll eat pizza for the rest of my life. Oh, what does a day in your life look like? Oh, that depends on the day, but usually I'll wake up. I try to wake up early, but right now I've been waking up late. So I'll wake up, I'll eat breakfast, I'll get ready, like shower, and do everything, get out the house, um, go work out, or if I can't, I'll, if I have a class, I'll take my class, then I'll go work out after, and then probably take another class. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe I just come up with something to do, hang out with friends or my brother or go somewhere. What was the worst date you have been on? Oh, okay. Um, all right, yeah. So I had one of, all right, so it was me, this girl, and a mutual friend who um, kind of like connected us with each other. But so me and this girl, we're gonna go on a date to Old Town Pasadena. We go, but the shitty part about it is I have two of my best friends like trailing right behind us and I could hear them whispering to each other like ah, and laughing like like it's embarrassing. You don't want your freaking best friends right next to you when you're on a date. It's no, you don't like uh it was bad. How old are you? I'm twenty. This... I'm gonna be twenty one in a month and a half. Yeah. Okay, so you're Capricorn. No, I'm an asparagus. Describe our friendship in one word. Hmm. Um, Funny? It's fun. It's fun. Oh, sure. yeah. It, it is fun. What are three things you love about yourself? Uh, I'm sort of athletic, so I'm happy that uh, I yeah, played sports when I was younger. Yeah, you're very active. Um, what else? Mm, I could be determined, like, if I want to get something done, I'll make sure I get it done. Uh, and I could be creative sometimes. <laughs> creative? I could be creative, okay? I could be creative. <laughs> that explains my Christmas gift. <laughs> That's, no, you're picky, okay? You're picky. She made me return her Christmas gift, by the way. So, mm. In one word, describe yourself. <laughs> In one word, uh... Christian. Christian. <laughs> My name. <laughs> Can't get better than that. Um, in two words, how will your friends describe you? How many words? Two. Two? Mm, you have to ask them. I don't know, but they'll probably say... Um, either annoying or clumsy describe your friend group which one i'll describe uh our friend group oh okay okay so there is me as far as i know there's me uh it's like the Ju most important person me <laughs> of course that's all you need to know basically we can skip the rest uh so me um julie the one holding the camera uh, there's Gio, who hopefully will be in a future interview. I don't know. You'll have to wait. Um, and Angie, 
the funny one. Uh, describe us. We're and funny. Sean. We're, Sean hasn't been out in a while, but Sean, yeah, we're fun. Uh, we're hilarious, and we get fucked up. What city would you like to live in the future? Um, I like LA, but I don't know. Maybe San Diego. No, 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 no. I would, if I could, I would love to live like in Laguna. Ooh, it's nice. beautiful over there. Uh, yeah. Um, Instagram or Snap? Uh, probably Instagram. Even though I don't post as much as I do on there, like I do on Snap, but Instagram. PS5 or Xbox? Oh, PS5. Not, not even a question. <laughs> beard or no beard? Oh, beard or no beard? Um, well, I'm rocking the beard right now because it's quarantine and I'm lazy to shave every day. So, I'd say beard. How much do you usually spend when you spoil yourself? Um, not much. I mean, like, I'll, like, buy myself new shoes or clothes or food, maybe. Maybe, like, alright. 100 200 who is your favorite youtuber at the moment youtuber uh nelk is funny as fuck i don't know if you've seen their videos watch nelk shout out um who else and of course the one and only julie can't i was forget, waiting for, for can't, that for, can't forget about her i was waiting for that response uh do you have a self-care routine self-care routine yeah like what like like skincare i mean i wash my face with uh some uh what is it neutrogena or something like i don't know it's one of those well, skincare brands but yeah basically yeah christmas or halloween christmas of course christmas what is something you hate people assume about you when they first meet you uh i could have like a very serious bitch face kind of if i'm like and i won't even realize it it would just be my face how it is all day so i, I feel like people think like i'm stuck up or something i'm not i swear it's just my face <laughs> like um yeah that. tea or coffee coffee ciroc or jameson jameson white claw or four local neither <laughs> but white claw if i had to what is your favorite restaurant P.F. Chang's. Very delicious. What is something in your bucket list that you have accomplished? I have accomplished? Yeah. Mm. I've stuck to a workout routine. So, like, I'm committed to it. I haven't lagged on that. Um, hmm. I made it to university, to college. So, I guess it's like, that off what is something in your bucket list that you have yet to try i haven't traveled to europe i want to go to europe i haven't traveled to okay no i want to um go to all the national parks in the united states because why wouldn't you want to do that i think that'll be like my ultimate bucket list how do you want people to see you as myself what are some of the special people in your life? Uh, my family, my mom, my brother, my friend. Uh, Julie's Julie. included. Thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah, my close friends. Um, yeah, my real friends. None of those fake people. We don't need them. Yeah, we don't need them, huh? We don't need, we don't need those fake We're people. leaving them in 2020, we right? stay in 2020. You don't talk to me in 2021. <laughs> You'll know why. <laughs> What is your ideal date idea? Date idea? Yeah. It has. To, well, it depends on the girl. So like, uh, do something active, like go hiking, go to the beach, maybe. Uh, what else? Or just like, freaking go go on a drive and listen to chill songs. That, that's a great idea. Okay. Um, what do you consider yourself, extrovert or in, introvert? Uh, mostly probably introvert. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I leave it at that. Probably introvert. Okay, this is one of our last questions for our last segment. Ooh, make it good. Who is a real Christian? Oh, 
I don't know how to answer that. What? Um, who is a real Christian? Who are you? <laughs> I'm a chill dude. I mean, I'm not really complicated. I, I <laughs> yeah, like, you are complicated. No, I mean, I like I like to work out. I like to eat. Um, I like to go to the beach. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I can't really t t give you all the info on me. But you should. Not even I know all the info on I me. Know. I'm still figuring <laughs> figuring it out too. But yeah. Okay, so for our next segment, I must to show you two pictures, and you're gonna tell me <laughs> what is going on. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Right here. Show him. That's me, right there. <laughs> That's me, the nerd among other nerds. <laughs> but this is an eighth grade Halloween. The whole class, we all decided to dress up as nerds, and yeah, that's my nerd look. Okay. Oh, here, um, God, what is happening here? Uh, well, there I am again with my can't even call that hairstyle. Um, just a beaver hairstyle? It's, I don't know what that was, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but. I thought it looked good. That's me. I think that must have been like some sort of rehearsal I had during school for for church or something. I forgot. But yeah, that's what that is. I don't know how old I am right there. Maybe fifth grade, sixth grade. Okay, so you asked me all those questions. Let me ask you one question. Okay, you want to hold the camera? Give me that book. What's the question? Wait, wait, we gotta get the background in there too. So just a little disclaimer, um, don't mind my red lipstick that it is on my tooth. I am sorry guys. So, tell us, tell your audience and me, who is Julie? Who is the real Julie? Okay, the real Julie? The real Julie is someone that's gonna motivate you and is there for you. But she allows you to she steps back a bit because she wants you to be independent and make your own decisions but she's here to push you and push you off your comfort zone and she's here when you're just you want to hang out you know be chill um julie's a hard-working person she um she, that's a really good question um she sets goals by times she goes to what are, what are your hobbies <laughs> what are my hobbies okay my hobbies my hobbies are painting cooking picasso picasso i'm the next picasso <laughs> um yeah julie is just she's very adventurous she likes to try out new things and um i just have so many things planned for me in the future and I hope to achieve them like I just don't want to stick to one career path I want to do different things and enjoy something I like and go further my expectations thanks for watching